everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm Alicia, and on this channel, I take one fashion item or one fashion trend and show you all 10 different ways to wear it. Now, we all know that fall is quickly approaching, but that doesn't mean that fall weather is quickly approaching. I know for me, living in Southern California, it's gonna be kind of warm for a little while, but I still like to change up my fashion flow. So once fall hits, I do like to sort of start to transition. I'm not wearing like super heavy fall outfits, but I do like to kind of change up my style a little bit from the summer outfits. So today's video is all about end of summer transitional fall outfits that will work for pretty much any climate. And if you live in a climate where fall does get really cool early on, then you can always add outerwear to these looks. So if you want to see some great end of summer fall transition outfits, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Alrighty folks, here is my first end of summer slash transitional outfit. And this is the time of year that I tend to wear my button down shirts the most. I think they are so ideal for this time of year. You can wear them open as like an outerwear type of piece with a crop top or a tank top, or you can wear them buttoned up and tucked into a nice pair of jeans. And that's basically what I went for in this look. I paired this green and white Walter Baker striped shirt that I got from Nordstrom with my Levi 501s. These are crop Levi's. And I threw on green Puma sneakers because I thought sneakers would be a perfect finish to this casual, super chill outfit. But this is ideally something that I would certainly wear in different color schemes and different styles. You know, I have a black and white striped shirt. I have a blue and white striped shirt from H&M. I love pairing these types of pieces to create nice end of summer slash fall transition outfits. And I think this is a great look to retry. Of course, I'll link these pieces for you all. But yeah, first outfit, very chill, very end of summer very sleek, but also super simple, and it's not too heavy. So that's what I love the most. So this is my first look. Let's move on to the next one. Here is my next transitional outfit. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorites in the video. It's definitely a minimalistic look, which usually isn't my style, but I like it so much because it's just so sleek and so simple as well. But what I have on is this high neck bodysuit. This is from Amazon. It's one of the super affordable, I think it's like a Skims dupe. And it's a really popular bodysuit on Amazon. I will link it for you all. It's really, really great. It's double lined. It's just holds you in so nicely. And it comes in a, a bunch of different colors. But I threw it on with these double waisted trousers. These are from River Island. I featured these in a haul that I did maybe about a month and a half ago. They are so nice and they just look really great against the bodysuit because you can kind of see that double waistline on the pants. I just love these pants. They are so sleek and so nice. But I threw them on with my black Amazon to drop heels on the feet because, you know, I need a little height with these pants. But I think this is such a nice end of summer slash transitional look. And you can always do outerwear with this. I could do my short sleeve moto jacket with this if I wanted to do that. I can certainly throw this on with an outfit like this. I can do my longer sleeve moto jacket. I can do my classic trench coat. It's a little lighter than the pants, but it would still look nice because they're in the same color family. So there's a lot of options you can go as far as outerwear with a look like this. But if you have a pair of neutral colored trousers, whether they're taupe, whether they're cream colored, whether they're gray, whether they're more like a khaki-ish color or this like darker taupe, they will work. Nice black bodysuit or a black top with it. You can throw in the outerwear of your choice and some heels and you've got the look. Super easy, super simple end of summer slash fall transitional look. And this is something you can wear to work. You can wear this going out. It's a cute date night outfit. It's just that sleek and well put together that you can wear a look like this just about anywhere. And girl, you know I love this, okay? We gonna move on though. So we are on to our next look and this is an ideal look because I'm using pieces that I wore all summer. These white leg pants are something that you saw in a summer haul that I did. They are so nice and lightweight and flowy. And I just love them. They almost look like a skirt on. So I love them so much. I want to continue wearing them for as long as I can. And to really bring like a fall vibe or a fall touch to the pants, I just styled them up with a denim jacket. I have on a high neck bodysuit from Amazon underneath here. And I threw on my denim jacket from Target. And I have on some little gold slides on my feet. Those are from Shein. But I think this is a great way to continue wearing some of your summer pieces. Pair them with a denim jacket. And I know there are ladies out there who wouldn't be caught dead in a denim jacket. Apparently, denim jackets to some people are just not it. But I'm not one of those people. I love denim jackets. I think they are great. And I think this is such a nice look for an end of summer slash fall transition outfit. It'll keep you warm, but it's also not super heavy and hot for those warmer fall transition days. So super cute outfit. 
and you can certainly wear your denim jackets over some of your you know summer dresses summer two-piece sets that you might have had you know really lightweight items that you wore during the summer pair them with a denim jacket and you can go with heavier shoes i could have certainly worn some white sneakers with this outfit if i wanted to but you know it's it's probably going to be fine for me to continue wearing sandals because i am in southern california but yes an ideal look featuring some of my summer pieces and using them to create a fall transition outfit and i love it i think i might stay in this today but we're going to move on to the next one y'all okay so here is my next end of summer slash fall transition outfit and it's so cute and fun and this is something that i shared with you guys in a recent haul that i did i think it was a collective haul but it's this little overlay dress from free people and i think light layers like light dresses and things like that are so great to style for fall transition over jeans it's such a cute look it does definitely give you that fall feel so if you're trying to change up your fashion flow and you know transition from those summer looks this is a great way to get that like fall look without having on things that are too heavy because as you can see this dress is mesh, so it's super light. And I have on a tank top underneath it from Target. So really light tank top. Of course, on the bottom, I have on my Levi 501s, the crop ones. On my feet, I have on some new boots that I recently purchased. These are by All Saints, and they are from the Nordstrom Rack website. I will link them if they're still available. On the top, I threw on my short sleeve moto jacket because this is like the most ideal piece for fall transition. It's a moto jacket, it's cute. It, Definitely covers you up a little bit and gives you a little warmth, but it's not long sleeve. So it's just a fun piece to style. And if you can get your hands on one, I would certainly say grab it. I will try and link this one if it's still available as well as some other options. But I think this is such a cute and fun fall transition outfit. It's not heavy. I can always pull off this moto jacket if it's like a really warm day. And of course, if it's a cooler day, if I'm going out at night, I can throw on the moto with it, or I can do my long sleeve black moto jacket with this outfit as well. So just a really nice look and all you need to recreate it is a tank top, jeans, boots. And of course you wanna have like a mesh overlay type of dress. I will link some options in regular and plus size in the description if you're interested in recreating a similar look. But honey, ideally, this is Alicia. This is Alicia right here, okay? This is Alicia for fall transition right here, okay? I love this look. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. Alrighty, folks, so this next transition look is a pretty simple one. This look is a copycat look that I saw on Tracy Ellis Ross, and I'm gonna go ahead and insert the photo right now for you guys so you can see it. She had on a striped, like, three-quarter sleeve top, and she had on yellow pants. Her pants are a little bit more flowy, and hers are also more like a muted gold, but I thought that look was so cute that I had to recreate it. I thought, wow, that's a really great fall transition or end of summer type of look. So I wanted to recreate it since I already had had a similar top and pants even though mine are a little bit more fitted so what I'm wearing is a striped boat neck top this is from the Amazon essentials line and as you can see it's a three-quarter sleeve top it's just like a t-shirt material very comfortable very breathable and I think this comes in regular and plus size and I just paired it with these yellow trousers to kind of recreate that Tracy Ellis Ross look I also threw on some loafers with the look because you know I'm just pulling out all my loafers right now because they're like a thing right now so so these are from ASOS and if I can find them I will link them or I will link some similar options but I love this look again very lightweight very easy so for those warmer fall transition days this outfit would be very ideal and if it's cooler where you are you can always finish this with outerwear you can do a coat on top a moto jacket a pea coat um, pretty much anything that you're comfortable with on top of this would work but I love this very simple look that was inspired by Tracy Ellis Ross you know, girlfriend got body and all of that. I just love her style. She's one of my favorite style muses. So yeah, love this look. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so this next look is another really simple yet fun end of summer slash fall transition look. And what I basically have on is a short sleeve leopard print button down shirt. This is a recent purchase from H&M. So you can get this from H&M right now. I will link it for you if it's available on the website because I did pick it up in store, but I think they do have it online now. And I paired the shirt with these bell bottom jeans. These are by the brand Scotch and Soda, and they were like a really good thrift find that I recently found, but H&M does have a very similar pair of jeans right now that are like sort of like flares, and they're 
really really cute they look a lot like these so i'll link those for you pair the outfit with my amazon the drop heels and i think this is such a nice look i love leopard print it's definitely one of those popular fall trends right now like it is pretty much every year but i just love leopard anyway and so i think this is such a nice and simple look this is perfect for a date night a girls night out drinks after work with friends pretty much anything and i really like it a lot so i wanted to share this look with you all because, you know, ideally this is totally something that I would wear and I want to keep this video very real and authentic. So this is certainly a look that I will be rocking for that end of summertime period and fall transition period. And as far as outerwear, you can finish this off again with pretty much any outerwear of your choice. Moto jacket, leather jacket, trench coat, whatever you want to do would work for this type of outfit. And overall, it's pretty simple. Leopard top, jeans, heels, something we probably all have in our closet. And I think it's a great time to pull it out for that end of summer slash fall transition. Cute look, on to the next one. Alrighty folks, so here is my next end of summer outfit. And this one is so nice. I have really grown to love looks like this that are just practical, clean cut, and nice. Um, I've really found like, I look good in these types of looks. So I actually really, really do like them. I bought this skirt from Target a couple of months ago and I've worn it so much throughout the summer. And I think it's a really great fall transition piece because it's lightweight, it's like a linen blend. And of course it's in like a maxi or mid axi length. I threw it on with this blue and white striped shirt. This is from h and it's my oversized striped shirt that you guys saw in a haul a little while back. And I threw on some tan accessories because I think blue and white and then the white skirt just goes perfectly with tan. So I threw in a tan belt. This is from Target, it's a few years old. And I threw in some little tan loafers because loafers are like the thing this year. So I've been pulling out all my loafers. I've had these for years, but I will link some similar ones for you. They're so nice, but I love this look. It's very easy, it's very simple, it's easy to recreate. All you'll need is like an A-line white skirt. You can do a khaki skirt. You can do a taupe colored skirt with a striped button down. And like I mentioned in that first look, this is the time of year that I wear my button down shirts the most. And I like to kind of just scrunch them up. You know, if it's like a warmer day, just kind of scrunch them to make them almost like a short sleeve shirt. They're very lightweight, they're cotton, they're breathable, they're not heavy. So even if I get a little warm, this is a very breathable material that I can survive in on a warm day. So really love this next look for a end of summer slash fall transition outfit. And I will link these pieces or similar pieces below if you wanna recreate this look because it's very nice. On to the next one. Alrighty, so this next end of summer slash fall transition outfit is a lot of fun. And speaking of like transitional pieces, sweatshirts are really great in my opinion because they're great for layering. They're great for, you know, you can wear them and then just put on like a tank top, take it off, tie it around your shoulders if you want to, and then put it back on if it's cooler in the evenings. So they're just the, an ideal piece to throw on during that end of summer to fall transition. And I really love pulling out my sweatshirts at this time of year for that reason. So in this look, I decided to style up one of my newest sweatshirts. This is from Shein, as you can see, it's a neon orange sweatshirt. It's super bright. I don't know how it's gonna come across for you guys because my camera distorts colors sometimes, but it's so bright. I threw it on with my camouflage joggers that I cut into Bermuda shorts. These are from Fashion Nova. These are the Kim Cadet camo joggers that I cut into shorts just like right at the knee. And on the feet, I have on my Steve Madden studded orange heels because I thought they were super cute to finish off this look. You know, this is the time of year where you can still kind of rock your heels here and there because it's not raining all the time yet. It's not slippery on the ground. It's still like, warm enough that you can wear your feet out, but you know, just pairing it with like the right types of looks. So I really like this look. I think it's so much fun, cute for a little, you know, cocktails with the girls or something like that. Or if I'm going out with my boyfriend to somewhere casual, maybe a basketball game downtown or something, I would totally throw this on. It's a nice look, it's fun, it's cute. And all you'll need is a sweatshirt, camel joggers, and some heels of your choice to recreate this super cute look. On to the next one. Okay, you all, so t-shirts were another big thing that I wore a lot during the summer. I styled this one a ton with my Levi denim shorts because, you know, just creating like a cute little casual weekend outfit. And so I think t-shirts are great to continue wearing 
the end of summer and particularly into the fall transition period because they're great for layering. You can always put outerwear on top of them. You can put a blazer on top of them or many other things. And they're also lightweight. So for those warmer days, you know, as we transition, they are ideal. So I wanna continue wearing a lot of the t-shirts that I wore during the summer, especially the cute ones like this one. This one is from Saks Fifth Avenue. And I think I shared it on one of my past videos. I think it was a vlog that I shared it in. But I paired it with this long line denim skirt. This is from ASOS, it is a recent purchase. Has a split down the front simple very simple silhouette but long line denim skirts are like huge this year they are a major trend so this is totally a trend item and i did recently pick this up just a few days ago but i paired it with these cute little aerosol sandals those are from Saks off fifth and i like this look very simple great way to continue wearing a t-shirt is to pick up one of these longer denim skirts and pair it with that and you can still wear your sandals i talked about that in an earlier look you know this time of the year is the time that you can kind of still continue wearing your feet out which is awesome you know unless you live in like one of those climates where it gets really cold in the fall right away um you can still wear your feet out so i love that so i just threw on some sandals with the look really cute covered up conservative yet kind of fun it's definitely a casual look that i would throw on for like the weekends if i'm running around or something like that this is certainly something that i will be wearing for that fall transition period so yeah that's another great look for you guys if you have a denim skirt or if you're thinking about picking up one of these longer line denim skirts certainly try it out with a t-shirt for that fall transition period it is such a cute and comfortable look i feel real comfortable in this y'all <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and move on to our last end of summer slash fall transition outfit Alrighty, so we have arrived at our last end of summer slash fall transition outfit. And I can't lie, this outfit is one of my favorites in the video as well. I love stripes, I love red and navy and white together, and I love sailor jeans. And these were a lucky find at the thrift store, but luckily for you, I did find some similar ones online, so I will link those for you. My striped sweater is from Zara, and ideally, a short sleeve sweater is great for end of summer slash fall transition because you get that sweater look you know that cozy sweater vibe but without being too hot because you got the short sleeves and it's not too thick it's not like a chunky sweater so i love the idea of short sleeve sweaters i will link this one from zara and i will link some other options that i found on amazon but i love this sweater with the high-waisted sailor jeans threw on some red little flats from boohoo because i think red and navy and white go so great together so i thought they would be a nice little pop to finish off this look but overall it's pretty simple a striped sweater high-waisted sailor jeans and some simple flats on the feet and you have this very nice end of summer slash fall transition look and you can finish this with any choice of outerwear once again you can do a, a classic trench coat would be really nice with this and like the taupe color that would be really cute to finish this off but you can also do a navy coat you can do a blazer so a lot of ways you can go with the outerwear on this type of look but i think it's super cute and i will recreate this outfit for you all in the description if you want to recreate it for yourself but i love this so nice right I love this look, y'all. I love all of these looks. And like I said, these are going to be great for you if you live in like a warmer climate. And so the fall transition is a lot longer for you like it is for me. These are some looks you can try out to keep it light, you know, keep it kind of, you know, cool so you're not too hot out there. But at the same time, switch up your fashion flow. I'm all flat, flashing, fashion flow, y'all. I got a little tongue tied there. Fashion flow so that you can kind of start moving into that fall vibe with your wardrobe. So hope you got some great ideas from all of these looks, y'all. Thank you all so much for checking out this video all about end of summer slash fall transition outfits. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some great ideas to help you transition into fall a lot smoother. Right now, I wanna go ahead and insert some additional Pinterest inspiration. So these are additional looks that I think are really great for tr fall transition. They're looks that feature lightweight pieces, but of course you can layer on top of them if you live in a cooler climate. But I think these looks are just really awesome for transition. And I think like we talked about, some of those essentials are button down shirts, nice trousers, sweaters that you can layer or wear over your shoulders, sweatshirts, cardigans, of course, moto jackets and moto vests are great. Nice long maxi dresses that you can throw on with boots and then later into the winter, you can always put heavy outerwear on top of. Those are just great things to use for your fall transitions, particularly if you live in a climate that doesn't get really cool early on into fall. So hopefully my looks will help you all out as well as my Pinterest inspiration. Of course, I've linked everything that I shared in this video in the description 
description. So if you're interested in recreating any of the looks that I shared, just check that description. Everything is linked down there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. And of course, to all my regulars, I love you all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.